Hi guys, it's Colette, and today we're going to be working on this Shades of Blue Drag Marble. If you like nail art, be sure you're subscribed to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures. And if you'd like to see how I did this design, just stay tuned. Starting out with clean, dry nails, you want to apply a base coat. Today I'm using Orly Bonder, since this is another vacation manicure and I don't want any peel-off base coat mishaps. All of the polishes that I'll be using today are from Zoya. We've got Blue, Ibiza, Dream, Serafina, and for my base color, Sia. I just did one coat, kind of similar to watermarbling. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just there to act as a background color and help make your design more opaque. And now I'm going to protect around my nails with Simply Peel because I'm assuming this is going to be a little messy. This is the first time I've tried something quite like this, but I do expect there to be some overlap onto the sides of my finger. My Simply Peel is just about dry, so I'm going to get started on the drag marble. I've got a little plastic lid here. You could also use like a silicone mat or something like that. I like the lid because it's easy to move around when I'm recording and trying to get specific things in frame. But I'm just going to dab out four of the colors. Not too much. Just little pools of each, and then I'm going to be using uh, Sia as the base for the drag marble, just like it's the base color on my nail. So I'm going to create just a spot that's at least nail height, maybe even a little bit bigger to give yourself some options. And then I'm going to take kind of like a medium sized striper brush and start dragging these colors through it in kind of a random but yet not random way if it makes sense um you know i want to still be able to see some of each color when i finish so that's something that you kind of need to keep in mind as you're going along so that you don't cover up all of one getting carried away with another and I want just a variation of how thick some of the lines are one tip I would say is to kind of not necessarily use just the tip of your brush but kind of almost lay it down in the polish and then when you st stroke through it uh, gives a little bit of a better result I found. If you get too much like a blob at the tip like that that's why it's kind of thicker on the one side. So I'll actually kind of be cutting off both of the edges where it's too thick and where it's too thin and concentrating on the area that I really like as the area that goes on my nail. So I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of this silver. Um, you can obviously use whatever colors you like. The possibilities with this are endless. And then to get this onto my nail, I have my Moyu Crystal Clear Stamper and because it's round I don't I don't want to smash down on this or it'll kind of smash out the design I want to kind of gently rock the stamper onto it and since it's round to get enough to cover my nail kind of need to um, rock twice if that makes sense I hope it does I think I need to get one of those fully clear stamper so you guys can more easily see what I'm doing but I'm just gonna go ahead oh wait almost forgot what I've learned which is to give it a few seconds to dry on the stamper um, I found that I get better results if I give it just like maybe 10 seconds to dry let it get a little bit tackier and then go ahead and stamp 
onto my nail. Look at that. So rare, I feel like, that I get a good shot inside the stamper. And then go ahead, and there we go. That's an excellent, that's actually better than I hoped. If you try and do it while it's too wet, it has a tendency to either smear or to not come off of the stamper. So that's kind of why I recommend that. I have a little uh, lint roller off to the side for cleaning my stamper. Don't want to use acetone on your clear stamper. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull off the Simply Peel here. Yeah. I honestly wasn't quite sure how this was going to turn out, but so far this is going very well. I'm going to just go ahead and repeat that for all my nails. Finally, I'm going to finish off with a top coat, and as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. So here's the finished manicure and I love how this turned out. Definitely will keep me happy for the full week that I'm on vacation and I'm already a little bit sad that I won't have any peelies to remember by because this just turned out even better than I expected. This was inspired by MarineLP91 on Instagram and she does it a little bit differently but I think my finished look is very similar to hers. Um, she actually does the drag marbling directly with the nail polish brush and I did some testing with that and I just could not get it to work out with me. So then I tried applying the colors with the striping brush and I had a lot better success. So if you'd like to check out her, I'll link to her Instagram page down in the information box. Let me know what you think of this technique if you'd like to see some more of it. I hope you all enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.